Buckle up, space enthusiasts, because there's a new spacecraft in town, and it's about to revolutionize the field of astronomy as we know it. From peering back in time to the early universe to investigating the atmospheres of exoplanets, this groundbreaking spacecraft is poised to change our understanding of the cosmos forever. So grab a front row seat and get ready to witness history in the making as we explore the incredible capabilities of this spacecraft that is about to change the field of astronomy forever. How will James Webb's telescope change the field of astronomy? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is expected to revolutionize the field of astronomy in many ways. First of all, it will be the most powerful telescope ever launched into space, capable of observing some of the most distant and ancient objects in the universe. Its advanced technology, such as its 6.5-meter primary mirror and its ability to observe in the infrared spectrum, will allow it to see further back in time than ever before, giving astronomers a glimpse into the early universe and the first stars and galaxies that formed. Additionally, the JWST will be able to study the atmospheres of exoplanets, potentially detecting signs of life on other worlds. It will also be able to investigate the formation and evolution of stars and galaxies, helping scientists better understand the processes that shaped the cosmos over billions of years. In a new light, although Webb was always meant to focus on the distant cosmos, scientists started scheming to use it to observe the solar system early on. In 2002, NASA chose Hamill to work on the mission as an interdisciplinary scientist, helping Webb's various instrument teams develop plans to study the solar system. Many of those plans rely on instruments called spectrographs. These instruments capture what scientists call spectra, representations of the different wavelengths of light emitted and absorbed by anything from a star to a planet's atmosphere to interstellar dust. Because different substances emit and absorb light in distinctive ways, scientists have used spectrographs to find out what much of the universe is made of. Webb is an infrared telescope, meaning its spectrographs detect wavelengths of light longer than the human eye can see, revealing details about what makes up the cosmos that observatories focusing on visible and ultraviolet spectra, including the venerable Hubble Space Telescope, cannot. Infrared capability is vital for gleaning details about faraway stars, but it also enables the observatory to investigate details of our solar system that have long eluded scientists. The JWST's journey to L2 is essential for its mission, as it provides a stable observing platform with a clear and unobstructed view of the cosmos. From its vantage point at L2, the JWST will conduct groundbreaking observations that will deepen our understanding of the universe and its origins. Here are some planets that JWST has been to. To Jupiter and beyond. Scientists won't wait long to turn Webb's gaze on our solar system's largest planet. Jupiter, as well as its moons and rings, is included in a program designed to broadly release data from the observatory's first five months. The early cornucopia is meant to give scientists a chance to learn to use Webb's data effectively. From these observations, scientists hope to better understand Jupiter's weather, temperature, composition, and auroral activity. Lights painted across the sky by charged particles from the sun hitting a planet's atmosphere. The data will also help scientists to study Jupiter's rings, how they might have formed, and where they might have come from. Researchers will also try to map out plumes of vapor rising from two of Jupiter's moons, volcano-covered Io and icy Ganymede. On Io, these come from its many volcanoes, but some evidence from Hubble suggests that another one of Jupiter's icy moons, Europa, could spit out plumes of water vapor. Europa isn't alone. NASA's Saturn explorer Cassini gathered clearer data suggesting plumes of water vapor and tiny grains of ice rising from the surface of that planet's Enceladus. Hamill said that in future research, scientists will use Webb to take spectra of the plumes on Europa and Enceladus in hopes of sniffing out what they are made of and whether they reveal any signs of life hiding in the ice-covered ocean. Uranus and Neptune when Hamill joined the Webb mission two decades ago, she immediately saw an opportunity to learn more about the planets that have long been a focus of her research. 
Uranus and Neptune, dubbed the Ice Giants. No spacecraft has targeted either planet since the late 1980s when Hamill was part of the team collecting images from NASA's Voyager 2 probe during its epic tour of the solar system. Much of scientists' recent knowledge of these worlds come from Hubble's regular check-ins. Powerful telescopes are the only tools we have to truly understand the dynamics and the chemistry in these atmospheres, she said. Scientists will observe both Uranus and Neptune as part of a program that rewards scientists who help shape Webb's path to launch with precious telescope time. Observation of Uranus will start in August, while Neptune will have to wait until next June. Other scientists are also in line to analyze data gathered by the Mid-Infrared Instrument, MIRAI, from the planets, aiming to learn more about their compositions, atmospheres, temperatures, and weather. MIRAI measures longer wavelengths of light than any other instrument on Webb, helping to reveal data about the planets that were previously hidden. Mars Apart from Earth, Mars is probably the most studied planet in our solar system, with three active rovers and one lander currently exploring the planet. Still, Webb has something to add, particularly by teaming up with other Red Planet missions, including the Perseverance rover. Even objects like the planet Mars that we have explored with rovers and orbiters, we can use James Webb Space Telescope to get holistic global views of the chemistry happening on the surface or in the atmosphere, Hamill said. Among other tasks, WET will study the weather on Mars on a global scale. In 2018, NASA's Opportunity rover succumbed to a planet-wide dust storm that left the spacecraft unable to gather solar power. At the time, orbiters gathered information on the storm, but none could see the entire planet at once. If Webb can watch such a dust storm on Mars, its data might help scientists better understand these storms and maybe even help future spacecraft endure them. Using web spectrographs to analyze Mars and its atmosphere, scientists hope to address some of our most crucial questions about the planet. For instance, why did the planet's lakes and oceans dry up? Webb's infrared vision allows it to track the history of water on the planet. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope is truly an exciting moment in the field of astronomy. The technology on board this spacecraft is set to unlock mysteries of the universe that have been beyond our reach until now. The discoveries that will be made with the JWST will help us better understand our place in the cosmos and deepen our understanding of the origins of the universe. It's hard not to feel a sense of wonder and excitement about what this telescope will reveal, and it's a testament to the power of human curiosity and innovation. If you enjoyed the video, kindly subscribe to our channel so you won't miss out on our videos.